The Zach's Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zach's Rank Buys. As the aggressive growth stock radar sweeps around the screen, two more stocks have flashed and caught the attention of our aggressive growth strategist, Brian Bolin. He's here to tell us about them right now. Yep. You like the little creative intro I, I did, do, huh? I do. I liked it a lot because, you know, the radar screen is scanning everywhere, and you never know what's going to turn up as a hit. Absolutely. So the first uh, stock that flashed here that caught your attention was PC Tel. It's a wireless solutions company. Right. And, you know, PC uh, Tel is, is a name that is very small and traded very thin. So it's a very illiquid stock. So when you're going to buy it, you're probably going to see the market move up a little bit. When you're going to sell it, you're going to see the market move down a little bit. And that's just the nature of these stocks that only trade, you know, 100,000 shares per day or so. Mm -hmm. PC Tel is one of these. Uh, but the thing is, is I saw something very interesting in this stock, you know, a big amount of volume on Friday late, mm -hmm. uh, and, and the stock really didn't move. And that, that told, that really, you know, kind of piqued my interest because, you know, these thin stocks like this, mm -hmm. and then speaking to the liquidity and trading volume, when they have that big volume, you expect a big move. Yeah, you do. Um, and on a weekend, especially going into a weekend, people typically don't want to be long anything they don't have to be. Right, right. You don't want to necessarily gamble, you know, yeah. on Friday afternoon going like, you know what, let, let's let's start a major position right now on this, yeah. you know, and, and maybe that'll get past everyone's radar. Mm. Well, it didn't get past uh, the Zach's aggressive growth stock strategist radar because this is a, let's go right to the screen here, a Zach's number one rank. So that's a strong buy. Right. Just what we want to see. And it has that A for growth. So it's automatically on my radar list just because of those two things. But then when I see that pump in volume, I know that there's something coming. So what I did yesterday is uh, I wrote an article about a low price stock seeing big accumulation. And that's just what we're talking about here. Now, I guess here's this chart that, that I pulled you know, from Google Finance just to kind of talk about this. On Friday afternoon... Uh, the 24th of March, we see that big volume right here. Uh, all these sticks here of volume. That's kind of the major thing. But the stock doesn't really run up. Over the next two days, the stock just floats higher on actually decent volume there. There's, you know, about 100,000 shares each day. And then on Wednesday, which would be yesterday, yeah, Mar I noticed, March 29th, March 29th, right. I noticed a big spike in volume. Uh, and, the, and the stock spiking up to a brand new 52-week high mm -hmm. at $6.43 a share, but then saw it come back in and trade in the red, which is what drove me to, like, I got to write about this thing. Now is a perfect time to, to enter back into this or get into this stock. Uh, so where would that entry point be? It would be just above, uh, like, 6.10 or so. Uh, so fast forward to today. March 30th. March, for, March 30th. We're still at a Zach's rank number one. We still have that A. And I see the stock now at 680. It's up another 8.7% today. Uh, you know, someone is clearly, you know, and here's the volume. We see it at 159,000 shares. In the last couple of days, it's been right around 100,000 shares. Mm -hmm. So we're already trading well over that, that level. Uh, so we can see that there is still big accumulation on this name. Is they, there news on the company? You know, not too much news out there, and really only one estimate, you know, driving the stock here higher. We, I mean, we, we did see a move from $0.08 cents to $0.10 cents this year and $0.17 to $0.18 cents next year. So, in essence, we have that one estimate driving things, you know, at least pushing it to that number one rank. But that volume and that accumulation in the stock is what's really uh, driving the interest for me right That's now. That's interesting, yeah, on uh, these thin stocks... Again, not typical. It is a this is you know when we have to underline the word aggressive in this one because yeah. this is an aggressive play. All right, uh, Extreme Networks is the next one. It's a number two, but um, you say that uh, it's still a buy, huh? Oh, definitely. And, and I and I imagine this stock is going to become a Zach's rank number one strong buy here in the next day or two. Uh, they just had a, they just announced a deal last night mm -hmm. uh, to buy the uh, the networking the data center networking applications from Brocade. Yep. That's AVGO. They're a big time player. Yep. Uh, you know, formerly we know that uh, Extreme bought uh, the uh, networking business from uh, Avaya 
for $100 million. So there's, in the last couple months, we've had two pretty big acquisitions for this company. Mm -hmm. Just cleared FTC, the FTC hurdle uh, for the uh, Avaya acquisition. Uh, now with this one from Brocade, we're seeing, you know, some pretty big size moves in here for, uh, for Extreme. The stock has responded, obviously. Today, it's up. This is Zach's rank number two, which I expect to move to a Zach's rank number one, is up 18%. That's a big move, Terry. It was up 16% just in the after hours trading right? and, yesterday. And the earlier today, it, it touched $8.11. So that was uh, up you know, 20% plus mm -hmm. at that point, making a brand new 52-week high. Uh, you know, and obviously the stock is up, moving up pretty big. Now, I think the idea here, obviously, you know, we, we, we've seen uh, plenty of good earnings estimate revisions, you know, three in the last 60 days, one in the last 30 days. So we're seeing those numbers move from 19 cents to 24 cents this year, 31 cents to 30 cents, 36 cents next year. But I expect those numbers to continue to move even higher, uh, you know, for this year and for next. And I would not be surprised if we see this stock trading $15 this time next year. Interesting. Potential 100% gain from these levels, Terry. We'll mark the tape on that one. <laughs> <laughs> right, this one will live forever out there in cyberspace. Maybe I'll be right, maybe I'll be wrong. There's a 50% chance of well, either one. I'm sure people hoping you're right, so we'll I think go there's, with that. I think there's a lot of people hoping I'm right. I'm hoping I'm right on this one. I think this one gets to 15 bucks All right. a year. Do you own either of these? I personally do not. Okay. Check out more stock information uh, if you're so inclined on our website, zax.com. Not only on these two stocks, but others as well. A lot of information there ranging from commentary to stock picks and stock picking strategies. Get over to the homepage. That's where you start the adventure on zax.com. With Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.